Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Well today I decided to come back and revisit this new palette again. This is the Manny MUA Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. And I did a first impressions with it and I used the more neutral side. I used these colors. Today I want to dip into some of these bright colors. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do but I just want to see how those really bright pops of color perform. So if you'd like to hang out with me and figure out what I'm going to do with this palette, then please keep watching. As you can see, I already have all my foundational work done just so we won't have such a long video. So I already have my eyes primed and set and ready to roll, so we're ready to get into this palette again. I don't really know where to start. I almost always start with a neutral uh, transition shade so maybe I'll start there but I kinda almost don't want to even use the neutrals but dipping into any of these colors kinda scares me a little bit <laughs> because I have a live stream tonight and I don't want to look all crazy but that being said let's go for it alright so I'm a little nervous about this but let's just go for it I'm going to use my BRC 250 which is a Coastal Sense brush and I'm going to dip into Kai Kai and I think I'm just going to start off really lightly because I don't want to end up with a big stripe that I can't blend out so I'm going to take this into my crease not too bad. I didn't dip in very heavily into the pan but I still have quite a bit of pigmentation here. Now I'm going to take a Morphe M513 and I'm just going to go around in circles and try to diffuse that outer line. And so I think I'm just going to show you the application on one eye for the sake of saving time so I'll be going off camera for the second eye. Alright, now I'm going to use that same Coastal Sense brush and I'm going to go into the shade called Pageant Queen. I want to go into this purple. I think it's really a pretty color. All of them make me really nervous though because they're so bright. So this is definitely out of my comfort zone here. But I'm going to go really tightly into the crease here. I still want that pink to show out above. That's giving me a little bit of depth and they're kind of mixing in together and it's just kind of looking like a darker pink but it's pretty or like a fuchsia. That's pretty. I like that. Now that I have the color placed, I'm going to go back in with that blender and just split, make sure those two are nice and blended together. Now 
I'm really intrigued by these two colors, um, which are called Kiki and Fishy. These two are super pretty. I'm not that intrigued with the yellow, but I almost want to use it just to like get my feet wet. So I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm going to skip the yellow for this time, and I think I'm going to go for this color and this color on the lid. Maybe this on the inner lid and this on the outer lid. I'm not showing you. This on the inner lid and that on the outer lid. And I'm going to need a flat concealer brush of some sort. A MAC 242 would be best if I can find it. And here she is. So I'm going to start off with this color called Kiki. I'm going to go into the inner corner with that kind of an aqua color and I remember him talking about this one saying that it wasn't really pigmented it was more like a wash of color and that's okay because I don't want a crazy color on my inner area here I kind of want a little wash there I'm thinking of maybe putting a line of glitter there or something maybe not we'll see what it looks like once I get it all put together but that's a really pretty color and it can be built up the more I go in, it's almost like a, a mix between an aqua and a teal. It looks really mint in the pan. And I think it would look a lot more mint with like a white base if you wanted it to look that way. But I'm kind of okay with it being the way it is right now. Alright, with the same brush, I'm going to go in to Fishy. And I'm just going to pat that on my outer corner. Just do a little overlap of those two colors. It's pretty. And then I'm going to take that blender that I was using for the others and just kind of go into the crease. Actually, I'm going to use a clean brush and just kind of go in between those two. I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Yeah, I like that. Super colorful, but I think it's still wearable. We'll see when I get done with everything. I'm actually really happy with the way that that looks. I think that's really pretty. So I'm not sure what to do on the bottom lash line. I think I'm just going to go with the pink and the purple. And leave the blues just on the lid. So I'm going to start off with the purple kind of close to my lash line. And then I'll blend it out with the pink. I'm using a Morphe dome brush. It doesn't have a number or a name actually, so it's a Morphe dome brush. And with that brush that we started with, I'm going to go in with the pink. And I'm going to pull it down a little bit. I want it to be kind of a flush of pink under there too. And that kind of did the same thing that it did up top, which just kind of mixed together to be almost like a fuchsia. Alright, so I think what's going to come next is I'm going to use a pointed concealer brush and I'm going to go into cake face and just do a little bit of a brow bone highlight and then use that blender just to go in between those two the one that we were using earlier and then using the same brush I'm going to go into beet which is the pink shimmery color and I'm going to use that for my inner corner highlight. Now that I'm to the detail work, it's just easier for me to show you both eyes. Then go back and forth turning on and off the camera. That's 
pretty and bright. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do to my eyes. It's a little bit different for me. It's pretty. I kind of am tempted to put some glitter on there, but I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to go off camera to put on liner, mascara, and lashes, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I picked some lashes out of my lash story. I have no idea what they are. I just thought they were pretty and I thought they looked really good with this colorful look. So this is the finished eye look. I'm real impressed with these shadows too. I really like them. Um, they blend beautifully. They go well together. I love them. So usually when I do a bright eye, I like a nude lip, but today I'm like feeling seriously pink. So I'm going to go with the Milani Fruit Punch, and to line my lips, I'm going to use uh, the Urban Decay 24-7 in Checkmate. I have a bright face, and guess what? That's alright with me. I like it. I think the lippy goes with the pinky part of the eye look. So I'm going to set my face, and then I'm going to go do something to my hair and come back with some final thoughts for you. I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Continuous. I spray it continuously. <laughs> Alright, so I forgot that I got mascara all over my face over here. And I do need to do a little repair work on my eyes. Got ahead of myself, guys. Okay, gonna go do something with this hair, and I will be back. I'm not disappointed with this palette. I really like it, and I'm so glad that this is the one that I chose for my birthday palette. But again, I'm going to let you look up close. The colors play so nicely together, and I just really like it. I think it's still wearable, even though it's bright. And I know I could have gone a lot brighter, but I wanted to kind of tone it down for this beginning one. But I think it's pretty. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope you'll do that before you go. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. Yikes. Yikes. I'm on the way. 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 I'